Hey there. I'd like to give you an update on a system I just installed. 13.5 kW solar PV array. What's really awesome is what you see behind me. This is the type of system that can protect you from an uncertain future. If the grid were to crash, the system I've installed will take care of you and your family. It's got batteries, it's got a generator hookup, it's got solar power on the roof. All this power generation that will take care of your emergency critical loads inside the house. Whether it's your refrigerator, whether it's a deep chested freezer, power circuits that are powering your laptops, communications, or light bulbs that you need. Heck, these folks are even running their air conditioner off this emergency power equipment. Now I'd like to give you an up close and personal tour of the equipment and components that are involved in this emergency critical load backup power system. Take a look at our 13,500 watt solar PV array. You also see on the left and right some extra panels. Those are solar thermal panels. The homeowner is using those to, pre to heat hot water for the house. And what we have right here are the solar charge controllers. These components are responsible for taking the electricity that's made up on your roof with your solar PV panels and regulating their charge to the batteries. In this system we have four 60 amp charge controllers. That's a lot. Most systems don't require that much, but this is a big one. And what you see here is the heart of the system. This, it's required by the utility. Basically, when we pull this switch down, it is the manual load break. It's the manual disconnect from the utility's line. But we don't really need this. It's just to make the utility feel good. Don't ask me why, but they want it. Now, our system back here, this does what this does anyways. It's got a built-in transfer switch. So when the grid fails, it automatically cuts it off and diverts power to our critical load panel that's located inside. And what these are, these are XW 6000 watt inverters. Yes, the XW 6048, pretty cool stuff. With these inverters, I can tie to the grid, I can tie to PV, I can tie to a backup generator, and I can tie to batteries. It's the only product on the market that can do all of that. And next to me right here, I've got four of the biggest batteries you'll find. Those are steel cases. Each battery is 638 amp hours. That's at a 20 hour discharge rate and they're each 12 volts. I've got them strung together in a series of four, which brings it up to 48 volts. That's a lot of battery backup. This is another key to the system. It's a 12 kW liquid propane generator. It's only used in the case of the batteries running low on power and we need some supplemental energy. I've got this hooked up to the home's main propane tank and so when those batteries generate, or when, they have, uh, when they've run low on power, the system's gonna automatically call for the generator to kick on and produce power that we can feed in. Pretty awesome. So let me show you the emergency critical load panel that we've got hooked up here. It's got all the appliances, circuits, outlets, lights that this homeowner wanted on his emergency backup system. It's all these breakers. Now this is probably more power draw than what our batteries and generator can handle. So what we've discussed with the homeowner is that when that generator kicks on and providing that last bit of power in order to meet the loads, he's gotta come over and turn things off, like the air conditioner. He can't run it at night when there's no solar producing power up on the roof. He's gotta shed some of those loads. He's got his freezers, he's got two freezers hooked up, he's got refrigerators hooked up, 
He's got the electric ignition to his uh, propane stovetop hook up. A uh, whole house fan. He can use that instead of his air conditioner to get the heat out of the house at night. Uh, and that's going to be a lot less electricity than running 10 tons of air conditioning. He's got lights in, uh, in the grandparents' room. He's got lights in the kids' room. He's got outlets. Uh, the oven. So, critical loads, people. Can't run everything. You got to pick and choose. And uh, and things like freezers and refrigerators and lights and outlets and you know again maybe your air conditioner you can do that.